Hey guys, what's happening? So, in the process of upgrading some of my printers, I got one of my free boards back. This is a SKR 1.3 with Trinamic 22 weight drivers on it. But I wanted to reuse this board, but probably about a year and a half, two years ago, um, I actually made a video about it, about a bad MOSFET. So, the primary E0 MOSFET, um, which I think is this MOSFET right here, I'm gonna fire it up and I'll tell you, but this MOSFET had, had failed. And it would just stays triggered. It was a, a, a short. And then, uh, so what I did is in Marlin, I switched it over to the run E, e well, I, I swapped the two in Marlin. So E1 became E0 and E0 became E1. Um, but I want to take this board and I want to reuse it for Clipper on my uh, my Soval, that 40 hour uh, offer up printer I got. Um, one of the, I mean, normally this wouldn't make a difference, or this wouldn't really matter. I could still continue to use the uh, E1 as E0. But I want to reuse one of these MOSFETs to control the uh, hot end fan and the uh, the MOS or the uh, driver fan, so the print will be silent. So I'm gonna have them daisy chain together. But to do that, I need to replace a MOSFET. So if you've been watching my channel for any time, I fix 3D printers as like a side hustle, and um, so I, 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 re I replace a ton of boards, failed boards. So this is a board that failed a while ago. It's a SKR Mini E. E3 2.0, but the MOSFET was fine, so I want to mod my modify or remove this MOSFET and swap them out. Put a new MOSFET in this thing right here. Uh, so you'll need a few tools to do that. Um, it, you, in theory, can do with the soldering iron, but it's very difficult. What you need is like a hot air station to remove the surface mount components. I bought this a long time ago, um, but it's a hot air station. So typically, what I'll do is I'll, I'll heat it up with some like low melt solder. You know, just get some low-melt solder on the pins around here. Just that way it actually mel melts at a lower temperature because sometimes this factory uh, solder is really high melt. It's not even like lead-based sometimes. So it's really hard to get it off there. Um, so i got to take it off because I want to reuse this board. Well, one of the things I'm trying to figure out is why is there three MOSFETs in a row? I mean, typically the larger MOSFET is for the bed. You know, like I hear, see the larger MOSFET, that would be that would control a heater bed because obviously it requires more current. The smaller ones are usually for the hot end. But why do I have three in a row here in this? I guess I could kind of the, the schematic's kind of alright. I mean I had this all figured out before. I may actually watch my own video. <laughs> um all right, let me show you how to test this MOSFET if you're not familiar. You ever watched my other video? I made that video a while back. So you shouldn't have continuity with no. If the gate is not energized, you shouldn't have continuity between the gate and the source. So the gate is the thing that triggers and turns the MOSFET on. The drain of the source is what allows the, the power to go through, the current to go through it. Um, sort of like a relay, electrically controlled relay. All right. So as you get, um, see this one, I'm getting short on both the gate and the source. Well, that shouldn't be like that until power is applied. You can zoom that in so you can see it. All right, so I shouldn't be getting continuity between the gate and the source. See? Or here and here. So here's a good MOSFET, the one that was currently running. See, I'm not getting continuity between the two here. So I know this one's good. So I'm guessing this third MOSFET is maybe to control the drivers, maybe. Um, all right, so this is the one I'm going to replace right here. All right. Yeah, one thing I definitely noticed too is the the cost of 3D printer boards is definitely definitely skyrocketed. Like I think this SKR 1.3 was like 20 to 30 bucks, you know. Now like a new SKR 3 is like 75 bucks. So it's almost a double in price. I don't know if it's because of the chip shortage or inflation or what, but yeah. So that's why I'm gonna fix this thing versus buy another one. Um, all right. So like what I was saying, I'm just gonna apply some regular solder to it. That's gonna help release it when I hit the hot with hit with the hot air. Just to, if I can get it in there. And then over here, all the legs that are connected to the board, the PCB. I'm trying to stay away from the camera so you can see it. I don't know, I'd be closer to it. That's gonna help transfer the heat over. So, all right, let me hit it with the hot air. 
Alright, this might take a while. Sorry for the background noise, got a car drive by. I'm trying to increase the time lapse, bring it up. I'm trying to prevent getting this thing too hot in the last one. Like I was saying, it's going to it's going the lower melt solder will help help transfer the heat into the higher melt solder. This is definitely not the best heat. It's better than the super cheap ones, but it's not. Alright, so I'm not going to put this one on camera, but I just got to remove that MOSFET right there, transfer it over. Alright, so here is the donor MOSFET. Definitely not the best micro solder. <laughs> I should kind of suck at it. Uh, I don't do it on a daily basis, so I just do what I need to fix things. Alright, I'm going to heat that up. Put that in place. Try not to block the video. I'm gonna just heat this up first area. Okay, let's see the side of the Just go back and hit the pads again too. All right. So I'm gonna go back and do another continuity test to see we're not make sure we're not getting short between the drain and the source. Meter on. Like it's hard to say. You don't know if the actual the board is shorted somewhere else or, or just the MOSFET was bad. I personally think it was a MOSFET, but just because it was shorted between the drain and the source. All right, so we should be back good to go. So I'm not going to be reusing Marlin on this one. I'm going to be switching over to Clipper. So um, you know, Clipper. It, 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 I mean, I'm more familiar with Marlin, so I'm kind of new to Clipper. So um, I don't know if you could just do that in the Clipper printer.cfg file. Um, I know you should be able to. That's where you define the pins. I mean, I do actually like Clipper. It's easier to... You don't have to totally recompile the whole firmware. You know, if you want to make a change, you can do most of the stuff just in the printer CFG file. So, all right. The uh, SKR 103 lives on. Yeah, I definitely want to buy another expensive board. So, awesome. Cool.